Well, that's one thing I love about you is you use the word addicting, by the way, is, you know, is so many people want to criticize the way you do things that yeah. same with me, like they'll be like, oh, Jimmy's group, this or that. And it's like, Hey, I'm just the guy that's trying to do it. And yeah. I'm sure I'm going to make a ton of mistakes and I'm going <laughs> to upset a lot of people, but I am in the game. Yeah. I'm actually doing it. I'm I actually had some there. buddies. Uh, so my buddies are like, Hey, I've got a group of friends and they're like, Chris, they don't like you. And they like Jimmy and they're talking about Jimmy versus you. You know, what should we do? I said, there's nothing to do. It's cool. No. <laughs> like, like they they have found their tribe leader that is igniting greatness in them. Great. Yeah. Like, and, and it makes me happy. Yeah. No. You know? And you get it. But when you get to a certain level, you know, people say, well, like, well, what's the purpose? You're just doing this to be seen or you're just doing this. It's like, no, no, no you don't get it. Go do it. Yeah. It is addicting. The yeah. word you used. Maybe yeah. I am selfish because I'm doing these things because it does feel damn good to do it. And if that's selfish, I think it's the best way to be selfish is by doing good and like having that. Effect. I think that actually that word is so misunderstood in society, I'm like, listen, you've got to up your game of self-care. You've got to selfishly take care of you. You've got to invest in your body and your nutrition. You've got to take care of you. And in the end, it's not selfish because what it does is it expands capacity for what you can do in the world. This world is full of empty tanked, depleted human beings that are too busy, run out of steam at work, serving their family, everyone else. And they don't get it. They think that it's a token of love and service, but it is at such a minimal level because they won't invest in themselves. I love that you said that. I talking to one of my guys that um, he works for my group is kind of like a volunteer that he gets to be a part of it for that. And he was basically running wild and he, you know, I could tell it was wearing on him and he wasn't taking care of himself. And I said, dude, there's no honor in self-sacrifice because if you can't show up with a positive attitude, if you can't show up wanting to serve these men, then you might as well not be here. I can order pizza. They don't need to be served. You cooking them steak and potatoes. And so it's, there's just this idea that taking care of yourself is selfish. It's, it really is the, there's so much honor in taking care of yourself and really making sure that you can show up the right way. And, you know, being unapologetic about that. And, you know, I, I, people always say to me, like, when, when do you find time for yourself? And it's like, well, it's just not that sexy. So I'm not posting it, but I'm reading every day. I'm literally take a bath almost every day. I meditate every day. I'm doing the, I go do body work once a week for 90 minutes, you know, and all these different things that I'm doing that's taking care of me because I know I cannot show up for other people if I don't, if I'm not feeling good myself, I, I no. can't help anyone else if I can't hold the space for myself. Yeah, and I think that's actually part of the game of balance. Life has this beautiful lie that that we're so busy now that balance is a lie and it's impossible and you can't get it. I'm like, man, first of all, never say those words to me ever again or to yourself, I'm too busy. Because all that means is that you have no integrity. It means that you're constantly over committing yourself. You're not following through. You're not doing what you say you're gonna do. You're stressed, you're perfectionistic and you're driving yourself crazy. Listen, there's, there is room for every inspired move and, um, you, you know, people, people look at me and they always assume I'm busy. They, they always come up to me unapolo unapologetic. It's like, Chris, oh, I'm sorry to take any of your time because what they're thinking is hundreds of businesses, millions of social media views, traveling the world, deep in his philanthropy, bodybuilding show, focusing on family and people are like, how do you do it all? I'm like, well, first of all, I, I only work 25 hours a week. Right, like my schedule is Monday is a filming day, Tuesdays and Thursdays I work from home, Wednesday is my wife's day, we go out and spend all day together, Friday is my kid's day, Saturday's my day, Sunday's God's day, like I'm not busy and I'm never gonna be, I'm never gonna commit that crime or that sin because the person that's too busy doesn't have the ability to listen and hear and show up when something actually matters. Yeah. And so balance is not an illusion. Balance is available. But yeah, it's going to challenge you. You're going to have to get outside of your comfort zone. You're going to have to learn new things. You're going to have to mentor in new ways. You're going to have to join masterminds. You're going to have to rethink how you do your life. Because think about this, Jimmy, a million dollars, 1993, today is now $2,070,000. Inflation in five years will probably devalue half of everyone's money listening to this in their 401ks, IRAs, and their soft saving accounts. Um, like right now, the world is a wreck and their only solution to the devaluation is they're gonna have to work harder. Over the last 20 years, 2002 to 2022, salaries have increased 27%, but the cost of a home has gone up 148%. In other words, like our cost of living in lifestyles is not keeping up. Average person drives a $60,000 a year car that has a $50,000 a year salary with over $100,000 of student debt, 60% of America living check to check. We have a problem. And being busy is not the solution and getting another job is not the solution. You have to graduate and develop more of the Gen Z millennial mind that says there's gotta be a smarter way.